Hey everybody, good week, good week, good week beginning, which is what I like to call Monday, as you all know. <laughs> Welcome in. Thank you so much for the follow, Theon. Glad to have you here and glad to have everybody here tonight as we embark upon more of Sam Barlow's immortality. Wow, it was like I summoned those dwarfs onto the screen when I did that. Uh, thank you, Grayson. Uh, this is uh, Scare Zone. I should probably mention now, just as a, a fair warning. Uh, this game comes with all the content warnings, uh, nudity, violence, strong language, drug use, uh, all that sort of stuff. So, uh, unlike most of my streams, which veer totally in the direction of immature, uh, this is going to be a mature stream. Uh, you know, how I like my mature content. Hey daddy. So we're going to try our best to get into some kissing tonight. Maybe some spooky kissing. It's hard to say what we could get into, but so glad everyone's here. I played this last night and fell in love with it. If you don't know much about this game, it is nearly impossible to describe. You take on the role of someone sifting through lost footage from three films starring an actress named uh, Marissa Marcel, who has mysteriously disappeared, never to be heard from again. And it's your job through scrubbing through these video clips to figure out what happened to her. And now, spoiler alert, if uh, if you haven't seen or aren't aware at all of what this game is all about, uh, here's your five-second uh, five um, five spoiler alert. Glass bottom boat. 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 Okay, now that we're three glass bottom boats in, or five... Man, why is my brain not working tonight? What's wrong with me? Oh my goodness. Deep breath, Jess. You can do this. Woo. So it looks like there may be some sort of demon possession situation. As we've scrubbed through some of the clips backwards and in slow motion and stuff, uh, some sort of demon that seems to be inhabiting Marissa's form has appeared. And uh, it's pretty fascinating stuff. I'm really curious to see where this goes. So <laughs> welcome in, everybody. Hope you're having a good Monday. Good to see you, Matawi. Hey, Stalk. Uh, good to see you. Thank you again for the follow, Theoc. Grayson, so glad you could be here. And again, I appreciate it. I probably will get afraid anyway. <laughs> good to see you, Curse Lache. First blood of the week, Monday is practically over. <laughs> spooky kissing on a glass bottom boat. You gotta love it. Love that spookiness. Well, I say we don't delay this any further. I think it's time to jump into this game and see what sort of trouble we can get into. All right, there's no game. Bad start. Now there is a game. And again, I just want to stress again, I really wish more game developers would put my username in the menu. I feel like that really gives me a sense of ownership of what this is all about. Like, I really feel like I'm part of the game. Yeah, I mean, Chris Lache, get ready to be confused by everything you see. So these are all the clips we've uncovered so far. Uh, just clip after clip of this woman's career, her personal life, all kinds of strange things. So that's where we're at right now. Now you must be. What the? Let's see. Now you must be. Uh, you must be very excited. I am excited. <laughs> so yeah, like. You're going to get clips like that. This one we've already watched our way through. But once you start watching a clip, let's say we go to this short clip. See in 3D, take two. And say I want to go pause it here and then highlight this eye that's in the background on this painting. Then 
what it's going to do is uh, take me to more clips featuring eyes and hopefully lead me in interesting directions. Okay, we've seen this clip before. We've been led down this road and cut. on a previous and occasion. Let's see here. Let's uh, maybe get shot of his mouth and see where it takes us. Uh oh. Shed no tears. I have no crimes to repent. My soul is prepared to return to its owner. Mithras, no. Run to the Abbey. Her father Pablo said without delay, her life is in the balance. You will not die, I promise. She dead. Uh, give us another eye roll. Uh, open your lips from you will not die. Hmm. <laughs> kissy face. I told you there'd be kissing tonight. Yeah, look at how much you enjoyed that kiss. Um, yeah, so what we know so far, there are three movies. Ambrosio, which is this story about a uh, about a priest. Uh, a lascivious priest, um, and maybe a devil-possessed witch woman. Uh, there is uh, Minsky, which is a detective drama. And then, goodness, thank goodness you got here grinding a tower for the, uh, for the smooches. And then there's a third one. It's like, oh, it's, it, it takes two, or it's some sort of pun on, on doubles. Uh, it's about a pop star uh, who, uh, and her relationship with her body double, one that ends in murder. So, as we're piecing these bits of this woman's career together, we're trying to figure out what must have happened to her. And we can scrub through clips to look for little clues. We can go all the way back to the beginning of this one. Let's see apples. Take one. what happened before we jumped in. Action. Uh-oh. <laughs> Watching the stream on your phone have immortality rain on your TV. Nice. So what happened just now? Okay. Now this is where it gets interesting. I had a little rumble in my pad here. And uh, as you can see, when we brought back this uh, footage a little bit, there's now a different uh, woman lying there. This is the strange demon type woman that has appeared in other footage. Robert Jones, very tasty. It tastes so American. <laughs> okay. So that's troubling. Let's see. We've searched her face before and keep coming back to the same set of clips. So maybe you look at this uh, this glass and see where that takes us. But again, that is the demon who seems to keep popping up. Hmm. What a cool party. What's your real name? That is my real name. Carl Greenwood Jr. My father was Carl Greenwood Sr. Sounds like a movie name. <laughs> Before you said there can be too much freedom. Really? What kind of freedom? Uh, sexual freedom. <laughs> Political freedom. Financial freedom. I feel like society needs some limits. Rules. <laughs> I don't mean to be provocative, dear, but I wonder if it's seeing other people have freedom that worries you. This, uh... uh how many women have you bedded, Carl Greenwood? Yeah, Carl Greenwood. Fine if I fucked every person in this room. Well, have you? <laughs> you only live once. Uh -huh. 
for talking to <laughs> Wait, you're, okay, you're okay with this, man? <laughs> Why me? Am I the boss, Marissa? <laughs> you are. Yo, conservative slut, Carlos. YOLO, as they say. I didn't think I was a hero for that. <laughs> but you're not queer. Okay, I'm going to be happy when Douglas comes back and we can all pick on him for being a dinosaur. Douglas gets a pass because. He's an icon. Mm -hmm. To Douglas. To Douglas. To Douglas. Now I got a little rumbly in my uh, pad back here a little bit. Let's see here. Hey, Seabed. Uh-oh. There it was. Let's see here. We can pull that back in. Oops. Okay, let's see if we can scrub to it. Here we go. All right, let's do it. Mastered the surface of the planet. Space. But we have mastery over time. Our perspective's different if we sleep and then sometimes we lose our time. When we take on a form, we absorb so much of its history. If you do that too many times, it can make you crazy. I've argued with you. I'd like to stay with you. Hmm. We have seen another one of these creatures. Our audio level's okay. It's kind of quiet in my headphones. Hopefully it's coming through well on your all's end. Let's just search her again, see what we can find. I'm a lot louder than they are. Let's see here if somehow my audio levels aren't where I want them to be. We're rolling. We're rolling. That should help us out a little bit. Let me just make sure all my levels are good here. Just a second. Tap out of this. Tell me if this horrible sound is loud. Okay, that sounds good. All right. Let's see if this is a little bit better. Scene 16 Alpha, take four. We've seen this set before, and these apples. Maria? Hey. How do you like these apples? What's that? Uh, I, I need you to come down here. What? Heather, that wasn't the deal. I know, I know it wasn't. I, I know. What's going on? They're asking me to swim. That's the idea. Dive in. Splash. I didn't realize, Maria, I can't swim. What? I can't. I, I never learned. I'm sorry. We didn't have a pool in landlocked Iowa. Oh, the last thing we need is you floating face down in the pool and us deeply. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm coming. I'm sorry. Forget it. I'll be there in 40. You need to buy me some time. Uh, how do I do that? You're in your trailer? Yeah. Lock yourself in. Refuse to come out. Have a fit. Uh, fit? You've seen me in action. Find something you don't like and blow it out of proportion. Like what? Wait, Maria, like what? Maria, they're waiting for you on set. Uh, I'm not coming out until you bring me some new apples. What's wrong with the apples you have? They're not round enough. <laughs> Freeze. Plunk that to 
position for the match cut. Okay, I'm getting rumbles. We're getting rumbles. We have the plate. Cut. Let's see what these rumbles are all about. Uh-oh, there's our friend again. Okay. So this is all about the Great War. War. War never it wasn't changes. Hard to see it coming. Many did. Then the influenza. It's possible to profit from the dark times, ride the chaos, but it's dangerous. It's the rebirth that follows that's more vital. It was a surprise to sleep through a great war and wake to the <laughs> end of another. The whole planet was screaming. So my guess so far about what's going on here is that these characters are possessing creative folks, uh, talented people, and uh, somehow like feeding on that creativity, like some sort of a talent succubus. Let's see if we can, oh no. I haven't zoomed in on a cell phone yet. Let's see what sort of footage that gets us. I hope it recognized that cell phone. Oh wow, look at this. Oh no. What is this all about? Scene 37 Alpha, take three. Wait! Fucking Apple. You just said it. It's wrong. The main event is wrong. Mmm. She may not like these apples either. Use the elevator and access to your suite. Does Frank need one too? We have separate quarters for your staff. You'll have this entire floor to yourself. It's private and very quiet. The car will also give you access to the rooftop pool, which you should enjoy anytime you like. Great. Is this real? It is. Okay, we got some rumblies. The rehearsal starts in an hour. But you don't need to be there. We will need you for fitting at five, and then it'll be on to the show. Sounds good. See you then. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit indeed. Nice dress. Got them sequences. Okay, let's go way back here where we got the rumbles. Okay. Got rumbles here. Hmm. Still rumbling. I wonder what I'm looking for here. 
Here is the part of the root news. Scene 37 Alpha, part of the 37 Alpha, here is the part of the 37 Alpha, take three. Here is the part of the 37 Alpha, take three. Where is this rumble? Actually. will also give you access to the rooftop pool which you should enjoy anytime you like great is this real it is okay that's where the rumble is Tech rehearsal starts in an hour now i'm in the rehearsal here okay yeah i'm not you know but anytime you like hmm I haven't had a, a rumble yet that didn't produce some sort of weird situation. Hmm. What are there any other tricks I have? Is it maybe you just want me to zoom in on that specific apple? Wait, we've seen this scene. I would love a tip, Grundy. Please, absolutely. Anytime. Anytime you like. Great. Is this real? It is. Tech rehearsal start. Tech rehearsal start. Okay. Hey, look at my apple. It's a red delicious. Or maybe it's a gala. Or a honey crisp. Whoa. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. If you throw it hard enough. <laughs> I guess we found it. Two types of rumbles. One that shows you the secret clip layered underneath, and the other will change things in the current clip. Okay. Hello, it's me, a creepy man. This isn't going to work. But the idea that they have been around since biblical times keeps coming up. I feel like we should probably search for the snake, huh? Wait, we've already seen this. That's the weird suicide scene. Hmm. What does it all mean? Tech rehearsal starts in an hour. <laughs> hey, I'm busy. Good to see you. This is a really good game, right? I want to search this pretty dress. Oh, here we go. I didn't realize it was midriff bearing. This is really tight. Just so you know, I uh, need to be able to breathe if I'm going to dance. You'll quick change after two of us. Aaron here will stitch you in in 10 seconds flat. Oh. And I was exactly the same way. Like, I fell asleep thinking about this and... I'm pretty sure that I low-key dreamed about it last night. That's how, uh, how in my brain this game was. Okay, cool. Mm, this isn't going to work. What? The panty. My panty? 
But you can see it through the gown. It ruins your beautiful little bottom. <laughs> I'm sorry. Take them off. Let's get one more round of that one. Panty? But you can see it through the gown. It ruins your <laughs> sorry. beautiful little bottom. Take them off. It ruins your beautiful little bottom. Now? Yes. Okay. Possible content warning. Uh, the dress is really tight. I don't know if I can... No problem. Uh, I'll cut them off of you. Um. There you go. Now then, let's take a look at this beautiful gown. <laughs> They're like cutting some panties off a person. <laughs> Something for Andrew's memorabilia collection. Uh, going in. Okay, let's get a quick reset on the panties. Can I take these? Yeah, I think I want to search those scissors. Go all the way back here. 40 Alpha, take one. That's classic Hollywood. Panty cutting. Demon possession. This is really tight. Okay, we've seen the whole thing. Let's go back. I feel like the game really wants us to notice these scissors. So let's see what happens when we zoom on those. Uh-oh. Okay, so now we're back to the Ambrosio movie. This is her uh, summoning Satan in a ritual. I don't know if we've seen this particular scene of it. I can't recall. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we've seen this one. Let's see if we can just search his crown. But it is sweeter still. Wow. <laughs> your surrender was unnecessary. Those guards at your door, they were sent to free you. A last-minute pardon issued by the Inquisition to safeguard the sanctity of the cloth. You would have walked free. Oh, you have to go and <laughs> You promised to save me. I promised to take you from the dungeon, save you from the Inquisition. <laughs> that I did. I want to see this I movie. I fulfilled my part of the bargain. Look at that matte painting. That is fantastic. Now your eternal soul is mine. I claim my prize. And cut! Arthur, that's hard in the dress. I hate the dress. It's not shocking. Can I try something? In a crypt, Satan <laughs> is naked. The devil mm. doesn't need clothes. No, no, a new woman is not scary. Kick up the wind machine, have her hair whip around like she's Medusa. Okay, here is the nudity uh, that we were warned about. This is the first time we've seen much of it. Sixty-two apple. Take one. Rolling on the shot for a second. I love these old okay. flips. Action on Ambrosia. Okay, we got some rumbles here. Uh oh. Deserts are mostly empty of people. Less people, less trouble. That's the opposite of Biggie Smalls. It used to be that you could find solitude in the desert. Before, you like little Biggie. Satellite imaging digitized the whole world in the palm of your hand. There are all sorts of places on Earth. Empty places where a person can lay down and die. We used to listen to the rocks crack at night. One of us is tempting the other, but I forget which. In the desert, you can lose track of time. There's no civilization, just sand and creatures. Sand creatures. I like how there's no moon. 
wouldn't it be great if this cliff uh, broke off and then like a restart, restore, uh, quit message came up and then she bounced back up and she's like, rubber tree. And we'd all have a big laugh. All the good stories finish in the desert. Next time, be more careful, subliminal angel woman. That checks out. Oh. Give us a turn. Hey, we're getting rumbles there. No, I don't like it. Wait, I forgot the book. The book's not going to make a difference. Uh, it's too <laughs> historical. I yeah. based it on real dresses from 18th century Spain. Yes, but we should have something more modern. It, it should have an effect on the audience. Perhaps I could wear men's clothes. A smart suit. Uh, we still want you to look desirable, my dear. Oops. Let's see Same here. Test. Matilda's magical dress. Second option. Matilda's magical dress. It's my favorite children's book. Give us a turn. Okay. Uh oh. Give us a turn. No, I don't like. Take this backwards. Oh, wow. Here we go. Now that's a magical dress. Man, all this is so creepy. I love it. Oh, this is like a whole ballet number. Yeah, the silence makes it extra creepy, right? Boy, such effort was put into this game. We could be on our way to more nudity. Content warning. All right, let's uh, search that face. Listen whilst I unveil the true depths of your crimes. You've shed the blood of two innocents. Antonia, that pure girl whom you violated, she was your sister. That Elvira whom you murdered, she gave you birth. Tremble, hypocrite. Inhuman parasite, incestuous ravisher. You claim to be above temptation, absolved of all mortal vices. Is not pride? Sin, your inhumanity. Know that I have long marked you for my prey. I saw that your virtues came through vanity, not principle. I observed your idolatry of the Madonna's picture. Uh -oh. and to seduce you, your path to crime was laid out by me, and you walked it so easily. <laughs> Scarcely could I propose crimes so quick as you performed them. You raped your own sister and murdered your mother. 
but it is sweeter still. <laughs> your surrender was unnecessary. Those guards at your door, they were sent to free you. A last minute party. Oh, and now we're back to where we started on all this. Uh, let's look at trees. There are other scenes with creepy trees. Yeah, we've seen this clip, the rat party footage. Are we cutting? Yes. <laughs> okay, let's see where this Three is going. Apple. Take two. Okay. Save again. And action. God the Father of mercies, death and resurrection of the Son, who reconciled the world to himself, sent the Holy Spirit among us for the forgiveness of sins. Let's go to church. Let God give you pardon and peace. May God be with you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, no. Okay, so no secret clips there. Just, uh, just what we saw. This looks new, I think. Yeah, this is new. My name is John Durick. I'm six foot three, 42 years old, and I will be auditioning for the role of Minsky. <laughs> One asshole takes seven. <laughs> One more time. Fucking freezing here. We gotta kill him. Action. Uh oh. Are we exclusively in dirty clips now? Son. They're too busy looking at Marissa cavorting around. Who is the shot, Douglas? You lie there. I'll direct. We're done. We're going again. No. I think not. Never in my career have I been expected to work like this. You, sir? You're not a director. You're a fucking pervert with a camera. Ooh, interesting. So I definitely want to take a look at that uh, that mask, right? The game really seems to want me to take a look at the mask. I think we need a new Minsky. But I have an idea. Okay, so this is where we picked it up. What a great sweater he's wearing. I'm six foot three. Let's get this mask. Gotta be something good going on here. He was naked, there was blood. First I thought it was a game. Sometimes he would act weak, so I wouldn't want to leave him. Can I ask you about these marks? I hope you didn't get too hung up on these, Detective. Each mark shows that we had sex. The <laughs> symbols show the type and frequency. Vanilla, we both came. Oral, both came. 
rope play we came. Anal. Okay. You asked. He was active for an older man. Minsky has arrest art as a procreative endeavor, a masculine act. To paint me, he had to fuck me. To paint me fully, he had to fuck me. Fully? Well, the killed Minsky cut off his penis. Careful record keeping is important. Do you need Has anyone cut off your penis? Decide if I'm guilty. <laughs> uh, who is Frankie Centora? I don't know. His name appears 12 times in the diary, and he doesn't show up in any records, so... Maybe he was one of Minsky's dealers. One I never met. Well, you wrote it. It's just a name. You should go now. I'm about to go to sleep. I sleep naked. Great dialogue. Oh, wow, there's some more content warning. I'll be in touch. What's your name? Goodman. Your first name? Detective. Cut. I'm about to go to sleep. And I sleep loudly. Scene 11B, take two. Action. What are you doing here? I just came to pick up some things. You saw the police tape. My fingerprints are all over this place anyway. <laughs> Grandislav, I wondered if uh, searching for breasts would just bring up a series of clips like that. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I want to actively pursue that. I feel like, uh, you know, when uh, you stumble upon them, it's more of an adventure anyway. Will we stumble upon any male nudity is a question. I'm also curious about the... Mention my ass prints and tit prints. I'm sorry. I really need to get the fullness of this line. Oh, God, this is the best thing I've ever seen. How does this game real? <laughs> my fingerprints are all over this place anyway. Not to mention my ass prints and tit prints. Is there such a thing as an ass print? Came to pick up one. <laughs> Stuff that I made before they put his name on it. A portrait of the artist. He looks unhappy. He didn't like being looked at. He said my work was amateur. Is that what he was working on before he died? was trying to reduce my face to pure form. He painted over each line 50 times to remove any meaning from it. The pure essence of Franny, just lines and colors. He liked my lines, but all the rest was a distraction. That's vandalism. Now it's worth more. Uh -huh. Did you ever read his diary? I wrote it. Every morning he would have me read his letters to him and then I'd write down his thoughts from the previous day. But there's an entry from the day he was murdered. If you've already guessed it, just say so, detective. I found the body. Ooh. I couldn't process it. I wrote the diary, got ready for the show and headed out as if everything was fine. Seems normal. Not suspicious. When you found the body, was there a mask? Some kind of mask? Maybe search the mask again, or should we move forward and search that diary that he looked at? I think the mask feels more promising. Uh-oh. <laughs> when I was in college, I was in a uh, production of Oscar Wilde's Salome. It's actually how I met my wife. And as part of that, if you know any of the story of Salome, 
it's about the beheading of John the Baptist. And we needed a fake John the Baptist head for when one of our lead actors was uh, supposed to be beheaded toward the uh, third act. And we had to do a plaster cast like this, and it went horribly wrong. Uh, our director didn't read up on how to do a plaster cast properly, and uh, we had to go to the emergency room <laughs> and get my poor friend Jason's face carved out of the plaster mask that had been uh, adhered into his beard and all over his face. It was terrible. And then I met my wife, so it's a happy ending. That's how I met your mother, Stream. Cut. Scene 20B, take one. Action. Boy, I'm getting some rumbles here. I didn't notice at first. Or maybe I'm not. You can't talk now. So hold up one hand for no, two for yes. Got that? <laughs> it's going to take a little while to dry. Shall we have some fun while we wait? Yes. To he said no, no. Minsky, you have to know what it feels like to completely give yourself over to another person. Are you ready to do that? No, no. This detective seems like he's in over his head. Yeah, I think this is about where we watched from. Wonder if I search for a nipple, if it'll give me anything. No. About a hairy armpit. I think the mask may be my main searchable item out of this one. Do you plan to have children? Maybe. Let's see. Scene 35, Alpha, take four. Nice chandelier. Everything here is Andrews. He likes to collect old, expensive things. It's a fertility mask from Tanzania. If you touch it, you'll be abundant. <laughs> Do you plan to have children? Maybe. First, I'd have to put some money aside, find the right guy. Andrew was surprised you said yes. He was convinced wow. something like this would be beneath you. Oh, well, there's no shame in doing something for Look those terrific boots. Michelangelo worked on commission. See, man, you did some contract work on this game. <laughs> Didn't you know what it was at the time? That's amazing. <laughs> oh, wow. Please share more of these stories if, if you're not under an NDA. That would make Mr. Hessenberg the Pope. <laughs> Ander is no Pope. You are no Michelangelo. I mean that as a compliment. All of Michelangelo's women... Look like men with tits stuck on them. <laughs> Good to move on? We can take a break. You should take a break. No, we can go again. You're burning the candle at both ends. Go again. 
Mm. Like the game really wants me to search that statue. Really? Well, someone didn't waste too much. Oh, uh, we've seen this. Let's we'll search this awesome chair. This is a screen test for Minsky. When I call up your name, just tell us about yourself, and we will see if the camera loves you. Susie? Hi, I'm Susie. I am a wholesome country girl who <laughs> came to New York City to make it big. However, I fell in with a bunch of degenerate artists and shusters. They told me I was going to be a star, but they only play my pictures at Times Square movie theaters. Hmm? Don't give me that look, Drella. I think this could be my big break. I intend to steal the movie. Eddie? Like that lady. I'm Eddie. <laughs> I'm told I'm photogenic on account of my big brown eyes. I'm excited to meet Douglas Simons. Seeing him in a loincloth fighting gladiators was a big artistic influence on me growing up. And I'm different. Just a second here. Hmm. Do you know any artists that aren't disgusting? <laughs> Stay away. Hmm. So I guess he's taking on the form of the woman in the neckerchief while she's occupying Marissa. Hmm. You didn't wait your turn. I thought you were done. You're, you're done. Debbie, tell us about yourself. Um, well, I'm from a very well-to-do family back in France. You were part of the ancien regime? Oh, my family has been the le social society after the guillotine of the right? Oh, no. I moved to New York City with my brother after I was kicked out of school for trying to put on a play about the Jesus fucking Mary Magdalene. I make a lot of religious art, mostly centered on the body. I figure if God is anywhere, he isn't here. Is this a religious movie? No, that was the last one. Where you played the devil. Where I played the devil. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> now that is a hell I can get behind. <laughs> I think you're all wonderful. John is going to love you. Well, let's see here. I want to search this lady who seems to also be possessed by the other one. That's the uh, that's the other demony type creature we're dealing with. Ah, what's that mean? I don't think we've ever had it refused to do a search on someone. No. Oh, that was the last one. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. The warehouse, large studio space full of art and young people. The sofa in the middle of an open space lounging on Holly Honey, Bill Ganner, and Lottie Hall. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Good. Yeah, there we go. Let's get those names again. <laughs> Holly Honey, Billy Banner, and Lottie Hall. <laughs> Goodman? You want Franny down to like check out. And you let your guard down because most of like you. Detective Goodman. <laughs> oh, honey. Franny said you'd be coming. Would you be happy to answer a few questions? Honey doesn't like cops. And 
none of us. Like cops. Cops think we're deviants. They like to beat up on deviants. Well, I'm not most cops. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked a cop once. Oh. He stuck his stick in my ass. <laughs> oh. You approve of deviance? Uh, I like art. You like art. If you knew about artists, they're the worst. Are you wearing a wire? Uh, no, no, I don't need a wire. I have a, I've got a notepad. Oh, write it down. What? We hate cops. Okay. Um. So Franny was here Wednesday night. Oh, this is yes. terrific. This is a big party. Oh, the whole night. Uh, what time did she leave? She stayed here. On this very sofa. Bare ass naked. <laughs> uh, did you take any photographs of the party? <gasps> you like taking photographs, <laughs> Mr. Detective? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so <laughs> <very good. laughs> What is it you're looking for? Oh, it make good the most uncomfortable. Oh, I, I feel pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Rehearsal on scene six. The warehouse, large studio space full of art and young people. This is terrific. Okay, we saw all of it. Uh, I kind of want to search this Polaroid. Oh, continuity shots. Scene 40B, take three. Poor Detective Goodman. Lebanon's personal effects. Minus New York. There's a confession in there, huh? Thanks. Hmm. What's that snake earring we've seen elsewhere? search that note. I think notes could be an interesting direction to go. Let's see here. Yeah, we've seen this scene of him burning the note. Which led us back to this scene. Oh no! We're back there again. Oh gosh, where do we want to go? Wow, I am no closer to figuring out what is happening. Search for this camera. Mocap. <laughs> that right there, that's you. Nobody can copy that. Cut 
away all this. And inside your core being is what we are capturing. The real Maria. Scene 11, Alpha, take three. Action. Raphael, what Why the can't we... with the suit? <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Why can't we get another cool ballet number like that one earlier? No photos of me in this thing, ever. Okay, close set, no cameras. Yeah, I'm screenshotting it. It's not about how I look, it's how I feel. Plus, I thought the whole thing with the computers was that it doesn't matter who's in the suit. Anyone can have my body. Well, no one moves the way you do, Maria. You are one in a million. Gary. That's my favorite client. Hungover. Yeah, I can't imagine what it would take to design this game either, C-Bit. Shall we begin? Please. Okay. Keep pose. Like <laughs> We're getting rumble here. Oh yeah. This tracks. It's supposed to be the 2000, or maybe it's 99. I think it is 99. Listen whilst I unveil the true depths of- Okay, back there. She seldom leads us in good directions. Let's see, where is our mocap clip? I'd kind of like to search the T-pose. see if that takes us to something. Maybe it'll take us deep into this mystery. This one shouldn't be that hard. Oh, there it is. Not. Pose. Ah, it took me to a cross. Perfect. And action. I was really hoping that would happen. That was the night, my child. He was troubled, but by midnight he had fallen asleep. Nah, I can't asleep. do it. Oh well. <laughs> I've prayed so much, my brain aches. I will have you replaced that you may rest. You will make yourself ill, which would compound her sadness. <laughs> His sleep has calmed. Oh, blessed Virgin, the infection has vanished. Vanished? That's my lancet. Ooh. It is clear. The venom has gone. <laughs> Father Ambrosio. <laughs> St. Francis, be blessed. What day is it? I feel I slipped over home. It was a miracle. 
Boom mic in the shot. Boy's healthy. You should rest. You have recovered from the poison, but I suggest two more days to restore your strength. Mm, got boom in the shot. Amateurish. Rosario, you should sleep. I will have Sebastian take your place. No need, Father. This miracle has restored my energies. I will remain by Ambrosio's side until he walks again. I cannot argue with the effect. Time to find other my cares, exactly. If you need help, go. <laughs> now try one concerned by her imminent death. But she knows it's She's not pretending. Really. Perhaps in case Ambrose uh -oh. sees some part of her act. We got rumbles. Chin up. Cut. I like the devilish one, but it might be too early. Make this out of bone. Let's do what they have. Let's do this. Uh oh. I watched Robert and Sophia. I was not jealous of what they have, but delicious. And when I kissed Robert on the camera, I could taste Sophia in his mouth. And I enjoyed the simplicity of it. Just two beautiful people, young and healthy enough that they felt immortal. <laughs> I don't know if I wanted to spoil it, but I wanted to be in it. Where they are fucking or being fucked. I'd take more than I give. There's no reproductive aspect to sex. It's purely consumption. Wow. What a captivating performance that actress is giving. Wait, is good? 11 Charlie, take three. So we get that boom back. <laughs> oh, wow. Another microphone. Now you can proposition. You argued with him yesterday morning? Most mornings. It was how he woke up. The grudge and a hard on. His diary doesn't mention anything. Oh no! On the days it does. Do you need permission to read his diary? No. We have to check in case he ever killed him. You want to do what to me? For the record, those words were a deliberate provocation. Mm hmm. Ruby confirmed the cause of death. Fix you. She puts the time of death at 11 p.m. Should I be hearing this? If we get it right. Hey, I've been here for a few hours. You should arrest me or give me something to eat. Where were you last night? I was at the warehouse. It's a studio, a hangout, a party. I crash there sometimes. Write the address for me. I'm really into this Minsky movie. But again, Ambrosio's pretty good too. Oh, that was so good. 
Get us some food and take her home. Is he a good detective? He thinks he's the best. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Carl, I wasn't joking. I've got a table. Let's see, we had some had some rumbles in this one. Now you can proposition me. You <laughs> argued with him yesterday. Argued with him yesterday morning. Most mornings. It was how he woke up. Grudge and a hard okay. I can't imagine playing this game without the rumble effect. Weird. Now you can proposition me. There's something it wants me to notice here. You argued with him yesterday morning? Most mornings. It was how he woke up. The grudge and a hard on. Uh oh. Here we go. <laughs> we found it. I've been in a few rooms like this one. Yeah, this is a nice one. You can break the force of human civilization into two. One, the urge to control and to destroy. I guess motivated by fear. You can call that the law. And then there's the urge to create the heal. Motivated by love. The art. Every important conflict in history comes down to the law mm -hmm. versus the artist. It's hard because the artist acts as an individual as the law as an army. If you don't love enough, it's easy to find yourself on the side of the law even if you think you're an artist. Wait, now there's rumbles in her scenes? What does that mean? Ultimate form of control is the oh, here we go. To have years taken away from you with the greater violence than simple murder. I'd rather be executed than in prison. But loss of freedom is felt more strongly if you're born with infinite freedom. And I was once kept in the Bastille. Now there are clips within clips. Food. <laughs> end up begging for the guillotine. Which was not as fatal as they would have you believe. Uh oh. More rumbles. <laughs> you can judge a society by the quality of its executions. I've been hanged. I've been guillotined. I've been drowned as a witch. I've been crucified. Crucifixion is <laughs> a painful aesthetics of it are remarkable, which was <laughs> Fire is the killer. 
You don't come back from complete cremation to the home. I've been in a few rooms like this. Okay, that takes us back to where we were. Let's search ashtrays! Am I the boss, Marissa? <laughs> you are. <laughs> You're a conservative slut, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I was queer, you'd think... Who's this lady? Mr. Minsky? Yeah. This girlfriend? Okay, we're in the lieutenant's office. We start on. Where are you getting rumblies? Okay, we're in the lieutenant's office. We start on one of the Polaroids from the warehouse. We come out. And go. They stuck these. On all the patrol cars <laughs> on 6th Street. It's not a good look. They're trying to piss us off. Well, it's working. You like all this sort of stuff, right? Detective Goodman Detective? needs to straighten up his act. Is there following up her alibi? Uh, you're saying her to avoid saying her name. She's under your skin already. Yeah. I was there following up her alibi. Look, if you want off of this, you can. Walker can take primary. It's clear your girl did. Friend, her alibi's crap. A bunch of junky artists. <laughs> they don't even know what week it is. His dick was chopped off. Of course it's the girlfriend. <laughs> deliver, the, the, deliver it to the lieutenant, but hit Goodman on friend and girlfriend. I like the direction that we get in these scenes. Her alibi's crap. A, a bunch of junky artists. They don't even know what week it is. His dick was chopped off. Of course it's the girlfriend. No, it's my case. There's no evidence she did it. But there's none that she did. All right, Goodman, regain composure. Being calm is your superpower. You got this. So I work the case. It's what I do. If you're done wasting my time, it's what I'd like to get back to. This is a Red Bull. I had the mayor and his cultural commissioner <laughs> chew my ear off. Don't screw me on this one, Goodman. I got his diary. The killer's in it, I'm sure. He was meticulous with names. There's a code in there, too. I haven't figured it out yet. So you will. See that in your eyes. And a ruby? Knock knock. Can I borrow Detective Goodman? Yeah, he's all yours. Ruby, who do you think of the artist? Mr. Minsky? Yeah. His girlfriend? <laughs> Walker smiles at Goodman. And we cut. Like the game wants me to notice that Polaroid. Granny expanded her own horizons plenty. Alright, scene 14. Marissa reading for Susie's part. We cut the interrogation room. Pieces of photocopy diary pages stuck to the wall behind Goodman. Frankie Santora. Goodman's waiting for an answer. Opposite him. Holly Hunt. She's pretending to think about the question. Frankie could be a woman's name or something else. Oh, wow. Grayson, is this the best game ever redeemed for 9,999 channel points? Whew. I mean, 
I think there's a really strong chance this is going to be the official decaf Jedi game of the year pick. Like, I have, uh, I've just been captivated by it. I can barely do commentary on it while I'm playing because I'm just so sucked into it. It's such a just weirdly fascinating game with such a simple yet incredibly complex gameplay mechanic at the core of it. It is way up there. Best game ever? Probably not. I mean, you know, it's uh, it's probably no Castlevania 2 uh, or anything, but it's, uh, it's pretty good. You know, in uh, Japan, uh, Simon's Quest was released originally as uh, Doki Doki Whip. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people come and go in our crowd, but I don't remember a Santora. What kind of people? People who work in the arts. Painters, sculptors, models, murderers. Minsky ever get into anything with anyone at the warehouse? Minsky didn't come in that often. He looked down on us. I even told <laughs> Franny to stop coming by. He took her under his wing when she was 17 and didn't want us expanding her horizons too much. <laughs> Franny expanded her own horizons plenty. She was already painting before she met him. Minsky ever... Franny ever mention uh, Frankie? Centora? I told you I never heard that name before. But everyone has more than one name. I wasn't born Holly Honey, you know. <laughs> Frankie Santora sounds like a drag act or a gangster. More like a gangster. You should try Club 88. Plenty of both there. Hey, hi. <laughs> uh. <laughs> The real Susie will be far worse. I'm just warming you up. <laughs> I mean, obviously, we're going to be creepos and search the foot. See the feet of a naked man up his legs. Scene one, rehearsal. Floor of Minsky's studio. We pan across. You're breathing. See the feet of a naked man up his legs. A woman. She rocks on top of him. Her hands on his chest. To his face. Wow, we've his seen this thing. off screen. His face is covered in plaster with a breathing tube. We sit on this strange face a while. Above this. Avorting. <laughs> Mr. Director, are you sure you want this naked? Of course. Run it. Let me tell you, there's nothing erotic about a naked man. You think? Male body looks best clothed. <laughs> female? It's another matter entirely. Yeah, I mean, that checks Mr. out. That's a very reasonable and progressive view on things. I made a lot of movies, John. <laughs> I know that naked guys aren't hot. He's so certain. Yeah, exactly. I, I think that this is... Uh, yeah, I'm disappointed in this actor. I mean, already this actor's been kind of a jerk so far, so I'm not surprised. That he would, he, the next thing he's going to do is probably compare uh, the naked body of a woman to, like, a sports car or something like that. That feels like where he's he's got big guy who compares women's bodies to sports cars energy going on. <laughs> oh no I still haven't figured anything out Zach Maddie but good to see you yeah see but I don't know about this guy so I have some experience here I'm well, making a different time of movie it's always shock value at first and things settle down seen a few new waves in my time I like how over it this dude is. Let's search straws. Okay, that's the actual scene. We've seen that before. Let's search hands. Goodman takes out his oh. skeleton keys. And goes up the steps. goes 
climbs up the steps. Oh, right, here we go. You prefer this to 7th Street? It adds a little more texture. Okay, scene nine, we see Goodman walking along, poking Cockworth. The alley here is good, he can duck in. Right here. Goodman doubles back to the studio. Decides to go in. Any coming to the door naked? No, I think a robe. It has to be seduction. Gilo was ordered to always be naked. It was his state of mind. Well, we can't have her scaring Goodman off. Maybe at the end of the scene. Uh oh. Just a moment. I've been getting lots of drop frames, huh? Went through a little period, a little while, uh, where I was dropping a lot of frames. Hopefully it's settled down a little. I just realized I had a bunch of notices that I had dropped frames and somehow power dropped through that. Let's see. I like that. She uses her body to get rid of him. It's powerful. Goodman takes out his skeleton keys. And we cut inside. It looks like my signal may be all over the place. Oh, what do we want to search for on this clip? Doors. Maybe not. Marissa, open your eyes and smile. We don't get to see Carl showering. We just have to imagine. Okay, back to sleep. Scouting for Goodman's apartment. This is the bedroom. I love this uh, jumper, whatever you call that thing she's wearing. It's fantastic. His pants aren't bad either, though. I like how this actor playing Goodman possibly seems like he's just out of his depth. Cop clothes. And kisses sleeping friend. Tell me about boxes. Oh, wait, we've already seen this one. What can you tell me about emblems? Scene 32A, take two. I'm getting some rumbles here. Scene 32A. Okay, now they're gone. I think sometimes when you start a new scene, you just get some rimbles. Those rimblies. Action. I don't have visitors very often. I mostly just sleep here. This is not what I was expecting of a cop's apartment. You running a racket on the side? Yeah. I inherited it from my parents. They owned the chain of clothing stores, but they died when I was a teenager. Wow. So you're rich. This is like the kind of place Grayson probably lives. <laughs> and you chose to be a cop. <laughs> Classic New York apartment. Oh, Detective Goodman, you're more fucked up than I thought. 
Gotcher, that's right. Big gotchered energy. I sent original. Oh no! Oh no, Grayson's here and I was dunking on him. It's me. You've had this all this time? Two years. I thought I was seducing you. Have this I ever been more than this? You're seeing me through Minsky's eyes. Oh, that's a, that's a coincidence. Who were you fucking two hours ago? Uh, I was fucking you. And who, and who do you think I am? You're, you're, huh, what am I? You're Franny. I don't even know your first name. You don't know who I am. You don't know anything about me. I know you. No, you don't. You want to know who I am? I'm the one who killed Minsky. What? I told him I was going to leave him. He told me I could only leave him when he said. This is heavy. Cut. Uh, we got some rumbly bumblies. So he's taking over the actor playing Goodman, eh? Mm. He has no idea what you are. He thinks you're his. Search that ring. And cut. I'm probably thirty six apples. Take two. And action. Hold it. Intrigued. How great does this footage look? Look at this eye. Taking a two-page photo spread. Harvard, you never painted a female nude, and the sexualization of young men. Let's go back to the beginning here. Scout for Frankie's apartment exterior, scene 16. This is his jacket. Feels nice. Okay, a little more rumble again. Jacket. Scout for Frankie's apartment exterior, scene 16. This is his jacket. Feels nice. <clears throat> Goodman sits in the car watching the apartment, reading his book by... Ooh, have you seen the Ambrosio scenes where they have the foreground character and the background character both in focus? Um... No, I haven't been paying close attention to that. My flashlight, a biography of Caravaggio. Before the age of 25, the artist Caravaggio was sentenced to death for murder and fled Naples. He reads some more, turns the book on its side to take in a two-page photo spread. Caravaggio never painted a female nude, 
and his sexualization of young men has led many to diagnose him as a homosexual. Sighs. Shuts the book. Checks his rear view mirror. Checks his side mirror. Sighs. Takes a sip from his coffee. Then notices movement on the street. The figure with the long coat, heavy bag. The figure walks into the apartment. Goodman pours his coffee out the window, screws the lid on his thermos. He waits mm -hmm. to eat. Sees the light turn on on the second floor. Santora's apartment. Quickly gets out of the car, jogs to the apartment, and cut. I'm going to seduce Carl Greenwood. <laughs> Okay, we got some more rumbles here. After, after I killed the other one, I told... What? Wait. After I killed the other one, I told John everything. He disappointed me. John liked the mystery. He didn't like there being an answer. And that the answer was that I was bigger than him he didn't like. The other one had pushed me to the edge, so I didn't so much snap. I just keep moving. Mm. I'd never felt so connected. I wasn't ready to let it go. I consumed him with vision. I didn't have time to think what it meant to lose my son. This has some nothing compares to you vibes to it. I can eat my dinner in a fancy restaurant. Move into the elevator. All right, back to the modern era. Rehearsal, scene 43 through 44. Is it the table read? Okay, so we already Terry, saw. Keep up the JFK. It's the dregs of the party. You're chatting. Heather nods off. Oh. Boy, this has been fun, but I think I'd better call it a night. Oh, are you sure, darling? We have another round on the way. That's okay. I'm already regretting the last one. Well, all right. Go get your beauty sleep. Not that you need it. Come, I'll walk into your room. Isabella, you better still have the cocktail when I get back here. Don't be too long then. That has never been my problem, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> nice Move golden microphone. Into the elevator. Keep it very nice. Keep your distance. Very respectful. Got my key. Here, I'll swipe you. You have a key to my room? I have a key to all the rooms in my home. <laughs> I keep forgetting this isn't like the Four Seasons. It's a little nicer than that. It's a lot nicer. <laughs> Ding. Well, thank you. Oh, right. Elevator door closes. Cut. Let's move on. Terry, you get to show your true self. Okay. Back. Maybe search that uh, microphone. That seems salient. Oh. Oh. All right. Beautiful All right, settle down. Now we come to the sequence I call the fuck montage. <laughs> oh, oh no. Montage, ladies. Sophie excluded. Uh, it is our obligation here to proceed mathematically and explore all the configurations of coupling. I will sculpt you into the embodiment of the audience's fantasies. And Ambrosio will provide counterpoint with his sermon which will add depth to our spectacle. Interior, Cathedral of the Capuchins. Ambrosio in the pulpit speaks to a large crowd. 
The poets speak of the pleasures of the flesh. In the same breath, they talk of their souls. The sensations they speak of, they misattribute. The elevating of souls they feel is inverted. The rush they feel is the rush of their descent as they plunge into Satan's realm. Interior, Abby, Ambrosio said, Ambrosio kisses Matilda's breast as they roll around on his bed. Voice over, your body is a gift from God, is loaned <laughs> you and must be returned when it is time to enter heaven. But little does God think of those that have sold off his gift, those that have misused it. Do not doubt the pleasures of the flesh. They are Satan's currency. Your body is only worth so much. It is possible to bankrupt yourself, to make what God gave you worthless. Interior, Cathedral of the Capuchins. Matilda watches from the side, her face mostly concealed by her happy. She smiles. Satan's trick is these pleasures. The dialogue here is pretty great. Equal to that offered by God in heaven over time, reveal their emptiness, regret, and guilt. The only pleasures left for the harlot and the whore. That magic the poet speaks so highly of is soon just the rutting of animals in the street. Interior, Abby, Ambrosio said, Matilda is sat in Ambrosio's lap as they make love. He looks over her shoulder so there is no eye contact. Ambrosio's face is soaked in sweat, a mix of ecstasy and pain. Voice over like a gambler who plays again and again and again to win back his losses. The sinner soon finds themselves debauching themselves further to feel as they once did. Their sins compound, their debts worsen. Like a wasp flying into a honey trap. The sinner will find themselves... It's like a simile that seems unnecessary. There's only one protection from this trap. It is holiness. It's purity. Interior, Cathedral of the Capuchins. Antonia smiles to hear Ambrosia's fire. She knows she is holy and pure. And what pleasures there are in purity. A sinner may look back and remember what it felt like to be clean and mm -hmm. lightness of soul. To feel God's eye fall upon us and to meet that gaze with our own eyes open and pride in our hearts. This is the true pleasure of the flesh. Glances at Antonia. Do you think they did a table read to revert to rehearse this table read? Antonia and the audience steps down. Interior, Abby, Ambrosio's cell. Ambrosio is thrusting into Matilda from behind, his hand on her neck. Uh oh. The climax is rolls up Matilda. Abby, Ambrosio's cell. Ambrosio is thrusting into Matilda from behind, his hand on her neck. Hey, crowd, Olivia. It really is. Um, and <laughs> yeah, then we had that mature content. He pushes her face into the bed as he thrusts. These his actors are very good. Desperate. He's what a well cast, well made empty. game. He climaxes. Oh. Rosa Matilda, eyes still empty. Matilda turns her head up from the bed. Was that all just a, uh... I mean, yeah, I guess so. To borrow the term from earlier, I guess that secret scene is just a fuck montage. Sad as they know. Prilat, bless me, Father, for I have seen. My last confession was two weeks past. Interior. Cathedral of the Capuchins. Ambrosio sits in the confession booth, listens to a rich lady. I was jealous towards a friend. In what way? Her husband bought her a necklace of considerable beauty and value. She waits. Is that all? She feels the pressure to entertain Ambrosio. I have had impure thoughts. Please detail them. <laughs> there is a servant in my employ who is very handsome. I have daydreamed of. Kissing him. Ooh, kissing. Now this is back our speed. You imagined fornicating with your servant? Yes. Once it came into my head by accident, but I have twice since put my mind to recalling it. This is all I can remember. I'm sorry for these and all my sins. These are grave sins. As your confessor, I must ignore my disgust <laughs> and help you return from the abyss. I did not act on these. You have let Satan into your heart. You are Satan? I, I, I... The remedy for this will be severe. Yes, Father. Every By the way, welcome in crowd, Olivia. Good to see you. On waking, two Hail Marys. 
Limit your diet to water and bread. In the afternoon, pray the rosary before bed. Another Hail Mary. Do you show contrition? My God, I am heartily sorry for having offended you, and I detest all my sins, because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell. But most of all, because I have offended you, my God, mm -hmm. who are all good and deserving of all my love, I firmly resolve with the help of your grace to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Amen. Ambrosio is distracted by his thoughts. Interior, Abby. Ambrosio says, Matilda is going down on Ambrosio. He doesn't look at her. Would you care to explain what that means, my dear? I, for the benefit of Marissa here. She's sucking. I know what oral sex is. <laughs> <laughs> Voice over. God, the Father of mercies, for the death and resurrection of his son, has reconciled the world to himself and sent the Holy Spirit amongst us for the forgiveness of sins. For the ministry of the church, may God give you pardon and peace, and I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Are you enjoying it as much as I am, uh, Olivia? Because I've been having a blast with it. I'm also curious, like, have we gone down very different paths? I imagine there are a lot of ways to go through this game. And uh, I really wonder if I'm running around in circles right now or if I'm making progress toward where I need to be. How many hours of footage are in this? I think, if I'm not mistaken, all three movies have pretty much a full film in this game. So I'm thinking there have to be like, Six to eight hours of footage, probably. Oh, wow. Zach, you totally broke the game. I'd love to hear this. Like, there have got to be speedrunning strategies, right? Like, if you just search the right, you know, spider plant in the background, suddenly you go to, like, the final scene, right? He climaxes on AMF. <laughs> Let's hear it. Oh. Bigger. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That'd be mine. <laughs> well, I need a cigarette. Back in ten. I want to get more of this spatter plant. Well, you look at that. His words calmed me. He has a great love for religion, and he speaks so well. He's a all right. Let's finish up for the day. Exterior, Madrid. Time lapse. Rooftop view of Madrid. Moving fast now, baby. In case this is another like ten minute long clip. <laughs> Plus chipmunk voices are great. idea quite decadent but um <laughs> when in rome <laughs> will we be taking siestas during our shooting i'm afraid not darling we will be shooting with an italian crew but in the american style <laughs> wow she waits <laughs> oh no poor table reads you know what actually i think i may take this opportunity to uh maybe save and head out to the menu because it's getting a little bit late here i have an early morning tomorrow work oh all that sort of jazz so i think i'm gonna pause there um but i am still having a blast with this um i know i'll be back playing it again later this week i bet friday night uh around 9 30 p.m eastern is when you can expect to see me playing it again because on wednesday night it'll be adventure wednesday retro adventure wednesday 
and I'll be playing more of Return to Monkey Island, a game that I'm also loving very much. It's like an embarrassment of riches around here right now between this game and Return to Monkey Island. It is it is heckin' weird, but I can't help but love how heckin' weird it is. Um, so I'm definitely here for it. But for now, I want to thank everybody for hanging out, for watching along, for chatting, uh, for just experiencing this whole weird wide world with me. Um, we should launch a raid before we call it quits. Let's raid over to Cerebral Arcade. Uh, Stacy is who first really like I saw footage of this game on her channel just a couple of weeks ago and was so uh, captivated by it. I decided I had to stream it myself. I watched like a minute and a half and decided I can't get any spoilers. I have to <laughs> I have to race. I have to play this myself. So uh, let's drop over and say hey, hey! Thank you so much, cry out Olivia. I appreciate the follow. Thanks for dropping in. Thank you, everyone. It was great to see you. Good to see you, uh, M. Zizzy, Kirsalache, Zach Maddock, everybody who's still out there and still watching. Thanks for sticking through this one. I can't wait to figure out what the heck is going on in this game. Let's see here. So what is Cerebral Arcade doing tonight? Ah, Outer Wilds. That'll be super fun. I'm going to hit the end the stream button. We'll start the raid. Be sure to tell Cerebral Arcade that Jess sent you, and I will see you all again very soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.